Hey everyone, welcome back to Jake Sudama English YouTube channel. Today we're talking about something that could completely change the way you use your computer, Linux Mint. Now, you might be wondering, what is Linux Mint? Why should you care? And the most importantly, so you switch to it. Stick around, because I'll break it down in simple terms and help you to decide if Linux Mint is right for you. So, let's start with the basics. Linux Mint is a free and open source operating system based on Ubuntu, which offers another popular Linux distribution. Think of it as an alternative to Windows and Mac OS, but with a few major differences. It's completely free, no license fees, no subscriptions. It's lightweight and fast, perfect for older computers. It's super customizable. You can change how it looks and feels without restrictions. It offers a clean, Windows-like interface, making it easy for beginners to use even if you have never tried Linux before. Now, let's talk about why Linux Mint is important. Why should you care about Linux Mint? Here's why it's becoming increasingly important. Unlike Windows, Linux Mint doesn't track your activity, no telemetry or data collection. If you have an older PC or laptop that feels slow on Windows, Linux Mint can give it a new life. It uses pure system resources so your machine runs faster. Linux Mint is known for its stability. You won't have to worry about unexpected crashes or frequently system updates. Plus, Linux is far less vulnerable to viruses and malware compared to Windows. You get access to thousands of free applications through the software manager. No need to pay for OPS tools, video editors, or graphics design apps. Now, let's talk about who should consider switching to Linux Mint. If you fall into any of these categories, Mint might be perfect for you. If you have a slow Windows laptop or desktop, installing Linux Mint can make it run smoothly again. If you're tired of Windows spying on your data, Mint offers a more private and secure environment. Linux Mint is great for students who want to learn programming or experiment with Linux without spending money on software licenses. Work in 3D with Blender, draw or edit pictures in GIMP, and use Inkspace or Vector Graphics for people who mainly use the computers for browsing, emails, and document editing. Mint is a lightweight and hassle-free solution. Enjoy your music, watch TV and movies, and listen to podcasts, Spotify, and online radios. With LibreOffice's complete office suite, use the word processor to make presentation, drawings, spreadsheets, or even databases. Easily import from or export to PDF or Microsoft Office documents. Access more than 7,800 games with Steam. Install the Heroic Games Launcher or Litris to get even more. There is a tight bond and a great relationship between the development team and the community. Mint communicates with their users constantly and uses the feedback to improve Linux Mint. Now let's come to the point, how to try Linux Mint. Are you curious to try Linux Mint but don't want to commit it fully? You can easily test it by creating a bootable USB drive. Here's how. Download the Linux Mint ISO file from the official website. Use a tool like Repose and Balena Easter to create a bootable USB. Plug it into your PC and boot it from the USB. You can try Linux Mint without installing it. So, should you switch to Linux Mint? If you want a free, fast and privacy-focused operating system, Mint is definitely worth it considering. It's user-friendly, stable, and gives you full control of your system. Plus, if you're tired of slow performance or constant updates on Windows, Linux Mint could be the perfect alternative. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried Linux Mint before? Would you consider switching? If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech updates. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.